Today we're in a home here in Holland Patton and we are going to be replacing uh, the current oil furnace that is over 40 years old with a brand new oil furnace and a brand new oil tank. Uh, the folks here have lived in the home over 30 years and uh, just getting a little uh, worried about the age of the tank, age of the furnace. The furnace is over 40 years old, as is the oil tank. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the old equipment. We're going to be taking out this old furnace and we're going to be taking out the old oil tank, uh, getting that out of the home so we can prep the area to bring our new equipment in. So the men are, are disassembling the old unit, which is uh, a big old unit that's been here for many, many years. Uh, once we get this out, the gentleman will prepare the duct work, the plenums, to uh, have everything ready to be adapted to the uh, new oil furnace that's being installed today. We're also replacing the old oil tank that's been in here over 40 years. From the outside, this tank doesn't look like it's in that bad of shape, but it has been sitting here for over 40 years, and uh, oil tanks have the ability to rust from the inside out. So the homeowners here at the house when decided when they were going to replace the forced air furnace that they were going to do the oil tank at the same time, which we recommend. It's just, uh, you never, this is holding 275 gallons of oil in, in your home. So you always want to make sure you're safe with those and everything is done proper with them. And with a tank of this age, it is certainly at a good point to have it replaced. We're also uh, going to be re putting a pan underneath the uh, new oil tank. Uh, this pan that we're putting under the new oil tank is of uh, plastic, heavy gauge plastic material, and it is designed to catch up to 50 gallons of oil. Uh, God forbid there was a problem with that uh, tank or with the filter on it and there was some leakage, it would catch the oil the homeowner would smell it and at that point give us a call so we can come in before it got here down into their basement or into their well or into their weepers. So we uh, put all these, we put these pans on uh, all of our installs on our, on our uh, tanks just for an extra security measure. Once the job is completed, as you can see, there's an incredible difference from the old 42-year-old heart furnace that we took out of here to the brand new oil furnace that is sitting here today. This unit is uh, much more efficient than the unit that we took out. Uh, we have attached to it a new air bear filter to it, which is a five inch thick filter, uh, compared to the one inch filter that was on this, the old furnace for many years. So the all around improvement here is not only in air quality, indoor air quality, but the comfort of the home with the new heat, the new furnace and the way the heat exchanger operates differently than the old one, the blower system that operates differently, and then the big savings here is also the fuel consumption. This is probably in roughly speaking about 20% more efficient than the furnace that we took out of here. So as far as that goes, just an incredible difference from what we had here to what we have now. Over here is where we removed the old oil tank and installed the new oil tank. Uh, the oil tank that was here in the home was also over 40 years old. Uh, and as we had mentioned before, they unfortunately rust from the inside out. So the homeowners here decided while doing the new furnace that they were also going to do a new oil tank, which after 40 years is a, actually a great idea. Uh, part of that installation included the fill pipe and the whistle that are that go outside that we uh, fill the tank with. Uh, it also included a new filter, uh, a pan underneath the tank, which is uh, uh, there for, God forbid, any emergencies where if we had any oil leakage, the pan would catch it and then we could come out and take care of it before it got ever into the basement. Uh, it also includes a brand new oil line, which is all the way here connected from the oil tank all the way over to the furnace uh, and nowadays we take our oil lines out of the concrete. Back in the day they used to install the oil lines inside in the concrete thinking that they were out of the way but what we have found as an industry is that copper and concrete don't mix. So we abandoned those old lines, cleaned them out and we put in a new oil line above the cellar floor and it's encased in a hard orange plastic covering so no damage can come to it but it's all above the ground so we don't have any worries of the oil line in the concrete leaking causing a problem. 
So if you're thinking of upgrading your oil system or even your gas system, be it natural gas or propane, don't hesitate to give us a call at Fred F. Collison Sons and we'd be more than happy to come out and evaluate your system for you and give you any kind of ideas of upgrading your heating system to a more efficient, safer system.